In this sports design tutorial, we're going to take these photos of Emmanuel quickly and we are going to turn them into this. For this design, we're going to start with player shadows. First, we're going to take our black and white adjustment layer and we're going to change the blend mode to soft light. Next, we're going to hit Command I on the Mac to invert our mask. Make sure we have our layer selected and our white brush toggled. And if you hit X on your keyboard, you can actually switch back and forth between the white and black brushes. And then we can paint back on the shadows of our players using that white brush. Next, we're going to add a levels adjustment with the blend mode on screen. What this does is it makes your entire player super bright. And we are going to bring out our highlights within our player. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Command I on the Mac to invert our mask and do the same thing we did for the shadows, but instead of shadows we're going to be looking for these highlights for example you can see on his shoulders and in the middle of the of his arm you can see extreme bright points where the light is shining through and what we're going to do is we're going to paint over those spots with the levels adjustment that we created in order to bring out our highlights all right next we have the city design so if you look at the top right hand corner here you can see that this is the look that i'm going for so we're going to duplicate our background layer and we're going to bring one of these city backgrounds to the front so that it is in front of our player. Next, we're going to mask out the buildings that we want in the front of our player. Usually I lower the opacity so I know what looks best to mask out. After you've done that, it should look something like this. All right, step three is to retouch your player. So we're going to add a little bit more contrast to our player's skin between highlights and shadows. So first you're gonna create a black and white solid color fill and we're going to invert our mask and make sure you have your white brush selected and we're going to paint on shadows in this case so we have a black color fill and I usually put it on five to 10% opacity. This will create an additional shadow effect and if you use the white color fill, it's going to create an additional highlight effect. So you can see the slight difference that it makes with my graphic. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of our background without fully colorizing our image. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your background layer and go to camera raw filter. And then under the color mixers tab, you can control the colors within your image. So if you wanted to just change the reds or orange within your image, you can do that. You can see how this changes the overall color of the image without fully losing the original colors. So in my case, I used an orange color. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how I do shadows on my players. So using a black brush set to a hardness of 100, you can just place that in the graphic and we're going to change the perspective on that so that it's stretched out. After we've done that, you can go up to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur to make it look more like a shadow. You can always reduce the opacity or increase the blur of your shadow if it's too dark for you. All right, step six is the stadium background design. So I put in the picture of the Knicks arena and I lowered the opacity of that picture so you can barely see the image. I next found a grunge layer that I liked and I placed it inside my graphic. And then I changed the blend mode to color burn to give me this effect that you see. All right, this next step is what really changes the entire look of the design. So the first thing I have here in my background is a photo warming filter. And you can see how it slightly changes the color of the background. Next, we have these paper tears. And these will be included in my next graphic pack giveaway. Or if this video right here gets 200 likes by the next video drop, which is on Monday, I will drop the link for the overlays, effects, and the PSD file for you guys all to have. So please make sure you guys like the video and keep those notifications turned on so you don't miss the drop. The next thing I have here is the NYX background with a cool overlay clip to it. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is color corrections. So first we have a vibrance layer where I set it around to 50 to 60 range. And I next I added a color lookup, which was crisp winter, and I reduced the opacity to reduce the effect on my image. I also added a black and white gradient map, and I set that to soft light. 
you can see how it really affects the blacks within my graphic and it helps in creating contrast throughout the whole image. I also added a color balance to give the graphic the orange tint that it has on it, the orange blue tint. And in addition, I added a blue and orange gradient map and I set the blend mode to soft light and I reduced the opacity to around 15%. So this is my before color corrections and then this is my after. With some additional sharpening, this is my final result. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you check out some of my other week's videos by clicking right here.